Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sofanis can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as uh, able as you are. Meaning? Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had a list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are. Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's this small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. <laughs> you should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. I don't speak in circles or any other shape. You answered one of my questions and that brought another to mind. And another. Go away! This isn't for you! Should be trouble in this here. You want get away from me! <laughs>
Let's hope no one notices me here. His name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. My favorite Mystios returns. 
So Fanny's name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizens' list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. There must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there is more after this, I want to know now. Of course, this should be the last thing. Should? I mean is. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. The witness. There you are.
That's the guy Alcibiades called handsome? Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alcibiades said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, oh, Alcibiades. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanes betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Vion may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. Oh, make sure Sofanis doesn't know I was part of this. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. 
Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. I call that impression the lap dog. I wonder how many scraps Ermipos has received from Cleon's table. Ermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Ermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates. Else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Ermipos should say what he wants? This may be the first time I've seen Socrates listen more than he speaks. Remember it well. You may not see it ever again. I prefer to think before I speak, and now, having thought, I shall. Tell me, just as I am allowed to say what I wish, should not all be allowed to do the same? Of course not. And there's much you've said that I'd say you shouldn't have, Socrates. What if I say offends one, but is loved by another? Should I say nothing in fear of what people may think? That would be nice, yes. If you have such an issue with Ermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Ermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Once Ermipos is in front of you, 
What are you going to say? I'm not entirely sure yet, but I promise you, it will be a grand spectacle. It almost sounds like you're jealous of Hermipos. Ha! Huh. Me? Envious of him? Making someone sad is easy, but making someone laugh takes true skill and talent. Wherever Hermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. The watch will be vigilant here. Doesn't look like Hermipos is here. I should take a look around. Where did that come from? Shit! Out! 
This is a lot of money for someone like Ermipos. Explains his residence, at least. Hermipos must be a member. Looks like Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. Επικαλούμε σε What is it? I couldn't find Ermipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. 
then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermippus and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermippus is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah, yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city.
you down.